Identified another setback with a Dreamliner. They say an electrical switchboard on a Boeing 787 ran into trouble during a test flight. ANA officials say the switchboard turned black earlier this month on a training flight from Tokyo to New Chitose Airport in Hokkaido. They say a message in the cockpit indicated a problem with the electrical system, but the crew did not detect any smoke. The pilot used a backup system and landed the plane safely. A ground crew later found a knot that connects wires to the board had come loose. ANA officials suspect workers from Boeing loosened the nut during pre-flight checks, and they suspect the workers failed to tighten it afterwards, causing the surrounding area to overheat. It happened when the company and its rival Japan Airlines were gearing up to take their 787 fleets back into the air on June 1st. Aviation authorities grounded all Dreamliners in January after a series of technical, technical problems. They allowed the plane to fly again on condition that the battery systems are modified. Japan's transport ministry requires airlines to provide passengers with safety information. But ANA did not make the latest problem public. The incident did not affect the flight and had nothing to do with the battery systems. ANA officials say they'll resume 787 flights as scheduled. More signs Japan's economy is on a growth track. Ron Madison is here with the latest on that. Ron. Yes, yeah, certainly an exciting time for market watchers on Japan. We've been getting a lot of really positive cues, uh, Gene, on the economy. And this, uh, after the Japanese economy has been called stagnant in recent years, well, in recent weeks, it has been showing signs of life. The stock market is up. So are earnings for major companies. And now... The latest GDP figures show that the economic growth is beating expectations, suggesting that the policies of Prime Minister Shinzo Abe could be having an impact. Officials at the Cabinet Office say gross domestic product in the January to March period grew 0.9 percent in real terms from the previous period. Well, that translates into an annualized rate of 3.5 percent. It marks the second consecutive quarter of growth. Looking at the breakdown now, personal spending was up 0.9 percent. Officials credit higher stock prices and improved consumer sentiment. Sales of cars and luxury items were pretty strong, too. Housing investment rose 1.9 percent. Many people bought homes ahead of a hike in the consumption tax next year. Exports rose 3.8 percent. They were led by auto shipments to the U.S. market. Now, there were areas of weakness. Corporate capital investment, for example, fell by 0.7 percent. It has declined for five quarters in a row. Well, for years, many consumers in Japan have been tightening their purse strings, but the latest GDP figures show that's starting to change. Nishika Rolls' Chia Tanaka tells us about that. Sales are booming in the jewelry section of this Tokyo department store. They grew 40% in the past two months. Customers are going for the more expensive items, such as diamonds and pearls. I bought this ring as a treat for myself. In the art section, sales are also brisker than expected. We're investing in stocks and currencies, so we have more money to spend on our art collection these days. Staff have been busy trying to meet demand. Pictures worth thousands of dollars are flying out the door. We haven't done this well in years because of the global financial crisis and the earthquake and tsunami disaster. Japanese consumers are now more optimistic. The confidence index in March improved to its highest level in about six years. The weaker yen raised the prospect of higher corporate earnings and soaring share prices boosted the value of people's assets. The market for the biggest purchase in most people's lives, real estate, is also enjoying resurgence. Showrooms for a condominium development in central Tokyo are crowded every weekend with potential buyers. Eiichiro and Naoko Nishimura have been married eight years. They've been seriously considering buying property, but weren't convinced the time was right until now. Both interest rates and consumption tax are relatively low for now, but they are likely to climb soon, so we think this is the best time to buy. Many factors are encouraging consumers. 
The consumption tax is expected to rise.